Hey everyone, I'm Tythonus, and welcome back to another family fun packed episode of Final Fantasy XIV uh, MSQ Stormblood. Uh, Mom and I are here in, I don't even remember what this place is called, but we gotta talk to Arnvald and continue on. I think Ashley, Jamil, and Jeremy are all at the quest of Stormblood. I don't know where you're at, Brennan. I don't remember what you're, where you stopped at. But, uh, yeah, so let's hop into it and see what the rest of the quests have in store for us. So let's do this. Hello, everyone. Boom. Hi, now we can continue to talk about Cooler versus Cooler. Whoa, Run into, run into his yeah, return yeah, yeah. phone. Oh, he says what? Travis, Travis, say what? Say return. Say what? Return. In a sentence? Yeah, like, I'm going to return this book. I'm going to return something. Yeah. Brandon says return. Return? Oh, I say return. return. Yeah. I say return. I don't say return. return. I say return. I w I would say either return or return, but Brandon says return. Return. Yeah, return. That's a dad thing, guaranteed. Everyone say theater. No. Theater. No. Theater. Theater. No. Theater. theater. Wait, what? Jamil say it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jamil says say it theater. weird. Then everybody knows now. It's on recording. Jamil says okay, theater right, weird. He right, just doesn't want to say it. All right. All right. All right. The don't theater. No, 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 no. No. If I try to expose me. How do you say the how do you say the word theater? Theater. No, you do not. Oh my goodness. Look, man, I have a gap, okay? So I so do in your teeth, so do I. Don't even get at going Don't even come at me with that. Listen, hold on, listen. When you say this. Okay. I got a little extra space right there, so it, see, see, all those sounds get messed up. No, it's like I, say, I say it's it right. Like it's like a, it's like a like, little, 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 like I say it right sometimes, and sometimes it just comes out like theater. Mom, take my teleport. Theater, the, theater. Mom, are you still in the dialogue? Theater. Um, yes, I thought. You okay, were I'll wait for you. Theater. I'll get it someday. Ashley, where are you? <laughs> One day where, I'll get this down. <laughs> One day I'll get this. Okay. By the Stormblood no, Dungeon. Done. I made yeah. a new outfit. It's similar to my other one, but it's a slightly different. So Let me know when you're ready, Mama. I'm ready. Go. Okay. Oh, you would say that. <laughs> right when I was not ready, when I close everything. All right, oh. I got it. Ready? Here we go. Move. Oh, shoot. I forget if you hit escape, it closes out your thing. Uh, I'm on the resident. Wait, why is Jeremy? Jeremy, why are you over here? What are you doing over here? Hmm? Uh, because I was in Gridania making a new outfit. Oh, okay. Brendan's You're on what, Bren? The Resonant? Yeah. It's not that far. Ashley, can you... No, oh, I think it's like only one or two behind, right? Ashley, can you check for him, please? I can remember how to do it. Okay, complete. You mean you remember J? J. Ah, yeah, the heroes of the hour. Hey, I'm in the cutscene. Who's shit? With securing the residential district, you gifted me an Imperial commander. What are you after, a medal? Yeah, I am. Thank you. The work is its own reward, General. I must say, however, that Fordola's claims were not a little disturbing. What manner of power could Xenos have acquired that might equal an icon? Tren. Might you speak of our just kidding. Mega. It's a joke. <laughs> Please don't take that literally. It was just a joke. But it's Very Omega. Possibly. The Empire's fondness for comparable Alagon technologies is exceedingly well documented. Have we made any progress with our own investigation? I'm experimenting None. with a new chess piece, the by the way, this episode. In earnest, but Sid has thus far found nothing and note. legs. Something that looks a little bit more... Beat us to it. If they were working I don't know. Desperately to repair the machine, like this might look a little bit cooler. And a nice, walls. like, nice new ice axe, by the way. I feel like that's cool. Ah, Lise. I trust you surrendered Fordola into custody without incident. We were just discussing the pilots' claims. About Xenos and his newfound powers. She hasn't said a word on the subject since we rescued Kryl. Even when the interrogator asked nicely. I need to adjust my volume. I will do that right after this cutscene. I'm sorry, everybody. It's a little bit quiet. Mayhap I can offer some insight into her claims. Or at least into the facility and the experiments they conducted during my time there. Though my memories of the period are somewhat muddled... There are a few things I remember with painful clarity. Thancred told us only that Fordola had undergone some manner of treatment. 
Yes. It is a place wholly dedicated to the creation of enhanced beings, whom they refer to as the Resonant. Oh. As I understand it, the process aims to imbue Wait, a test Brent subject ahead of us? with the qualities of an individual with demonstrated magical aptitude. This entails... This entails the mechanical extraction and transfusion of some manner of primordial essence. Uh, what? So that's how Fordola improved so fast. I knew there had to be something. She wasn't half as strong or quick to predict my attacks when we first met. If it weren't for Orianja's siphon thingy, I really don't think we'd have beaten her. My humble scheme asked far more in the execution than it required in the conception, I do assure thee. <laughs> Just freaking showed up. Oh, He's like, got to stop doing that. It's like Batman or something, man. In calling upon Lady Alize after her defeat, I was most intrigued to learn of the apparent effortlessness with which Fordola countered her attacks. Twas as if she knew the blade's destination ere its journey began. A most impressive feat under any circumstances, but an almost miraculous one when considered in the context of Fordola's unfamiliarity with my lady's arts. How then could she so perfectly predict an unknown opponent's every move? After much deliberation, I surmise that Fordola may be possessed of a preternatural ability to divine meaning from the fluctuations of an individual's ether and to instinctively react. To employ a metaphor, one might say that she was attuned to the whispers of my lady Alize's soul. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um. That kind of reminds me of, um. Uh. Wait. Have you not just described a manifestation of the Like echo? Atium from, like, uh, the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. Like the whole thing, like you could, like you can kind of see the outcomes of everything. They could see the outcomes of everything. Kind of has that vibe to it. I had no conclusive proof. The available anecdotal evidence suggested only that Fordola was uncommonly sensitive to etheric fluctuations, and was this which led me to develop my strategy. So kind of the same I thing, but a little bit a different. Device with the capacity to generate a massive disruption in the surrounding ether, if. As I suspected, Fordola's senses were indeed questing for the most minor of oscillations. The shock of exposure to a more amplitudinous etheric waveform would be akin to a debilitating bout of ether sickness. Okay. Interesting. How so ingenious. Kind of see I that. I note that the success of your plan hinged on your device's wielder remaining ignorant of its purpose, lest Fordola divine your intent. Please click. Please. 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 Indeed so, Master Alfino. All things considered, twas a most fortuitous outcome. That's putting it mildly. In any event, if Arianje is correct, that would mean these resonant have been granted the power of the Echo via artificial means. A sobering thought, to say the least, and one which makes me wonder what else Xenos has in store. Whatever the Viceroy's newfound powers, I know of none better equipped to face him. And face him you must, for there is now but one path forward, and it leads straight to Alamigo. And it's not as if we came unprepared. We've got all our friends and allies fighting for the same thing. Honestly, right now, I feel like we could take on anyone and win. And I mean anyone. Okay, then. Oh. Is that a me thing? Nevertheless, let us proceed with all due caution. I mean, we don't really know what we're really up against. Well, no one's saying we shouldn't be cautious. Though maybe I was getting a bit carried away. Yeah, 
carried away. Right. I best get back to the residential it... district. Thancred and the resistance forces are waiting. Okay. It is time we join the main host. Sounds good, Alfie. Kryle, in light of your recent ordeal, might I suggest that you remain with the rear guard for now? Oh, if you insist. Just this once. Oh. There's a thing between Kryle and Alfie now, right? Like, it's not just me. Uh, that's extra gross. What? Okay. I'm assuming it looks like cover and these are the pictures I found. I'm too eager to see this so called male strike firsthand. Oops, I didn't mean to click on that person. Alright, I gotta talk to Alfie now here. Who's nice. Upsetty and Carbuncle? Trithonis and I can do assist with final preparations. Okay. I'm glad you asked. Pippin uh, informed me months ago that our forces are in position and we're ready to commence the assault. Not remains but to notify the Alliance commanders. If there are no objections, I should be glad to have you all honors, Lieutenant. Number six of Operation Archon. You helped bring in the end of Dragon Dragon Song War. Thank you, Mom, for jumping. Archon. Thank you, Mom, for jumping on the table with all the maps on it. <laughs> all right. Some might judge it as empty gesture or talents, but I know it would be much to everyone here. All right. Speak with Kanye Asana. I got to talk to everybody here. What question you on, bud? I'm on the second duty. Where's he at then, in regards to he's where we're at? Oh, okay, so he's like he's he's like right behind us then. Okay. Pause yeah, I don't bring. Well, but they were like he's fighting. He's fighting Frodo. No, no Brent, what were you gonna say? I I was gonna say that uh, I I saw her and I was like, who? I was like, who is this? You remember who she was though, right? No, I don't actually. No, she's like the like the right hand man for uh, Xenos for a while. I, I see Betty's and I kill. She, she was she was the she was the like the uh, Alamegan or whatever that was like. We're just gonna die anyways. We might as well join the bad guys. Okay, that's you her. You have to say you have to say it like she does, where she's like Lord Xenos. Lord Xenos. So like something. Else. Lord of what? I'm gonna walk around the table, Mom. Respectful, oh, see that? I called her Frodo. I'm respectful to who? These people won't let me get any rest. So. <laughs> That's true. He was in it for humoring an old bull. Wait. Who's that? Who's that guy? Who are you? What is well, that? Thing? Armor looks kind of cool. What the heck is that guy's armor? I'm being shot. <laughs> the killer's chasing me. Ow! Hey, These that stupid game is salt pixies are stupid. Yeah, I know you can't even play no more. Yeah, no, that game's dead. Kind of, almost ready? Kind of a bummer. Wait for you. It was uh, a good game, and then they locked all of the fun stuff behind. Like, yeah, we still had fun. We still had enough fun out of it. We got our, we got our time. Which you can't get unless you play online by yourself. I'm on the measure of his reach. I don't know where we're at. Like, if I should do another one or should I wait? Is it more cutscenes on that or no? All right, Ashley. Now it's done. Anybody? Hello? Anybody? Huh? Should I keep this recording and want, like, keep going with my recording or stop it here to do another one? Because I'm on the measure of his reach. I think uh, I'm on the reach. Serve me one. No, I'm not listening to Brent. He's behind. The one right before this one. Should, sh yeah. like, should I, I, that's what I'm saying. Should I finish, should I do this and then, like, is it another whole quest line thing or is it just like a, like a little cutscene thing? Deliver a package, follow, speak. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll just do it. Okay, yeah, I'll just, just do it then. Yeah. We shall head to the front. I have you're my outfit. Do it, you're not stopping. Blood ready. No, I'll keep going, Mom. I'm only at like 15 minutes for recording, so. Okay. New well, fashion. Go. We'll go. We'll go together, Mama. I got to deliver a package to Pippin. Looks like. Pippin, Pippin yes. Mama. Okay, to Pippin. Where the heck is Pippin at? Pippin's... He's not on a spot that we can teleport to. There's a bunch of, like, side quests we can take here to get some, uh, things. Like, there's yeah. a ton here. We'll have to come back and do this. Ashley, help me slap Jermaine. What? 
Can we go this way? Should, oh, we, wait, should we go this way, Mom? Maybe? I don't know. This Let's go this way. confuses me. Me too. Porta Pretoria. Where are you? Oh, there's Chug you get the Chuggle Keep, Mom. I, I did. Oh, I didn't get this one. Okay. What, Bren? It's like, what? Where are you? I'm in this like weird city. Uh, if you're in the weird city, don't forget to get the ether right there. I'm trying. Right. I can't. I can't get there. Did you, you go through go the water? Like Let's go through the water yeah. up and around. Just make sure you don't forget to do it. It's difficult. This place is confusing. Yeah, it is. I didn't find that as a problem, but okay. I did. Big birds in my way. I can't feel them going. Isn't it crazy? This is not supposed to be snow. It's supposed to be salt. Yeah. Supposed to be what? Salt. Salt. In the air. There's salt in the air. Over here where mom and I are. Don't let a snail over here. Ah, uh, I'm sneezed. But I... Let's go up this way, mom. I bet it's, oh, I bet it's over here. You behind me, mama? Yep, I'm behind you. Alrighty. You hear like shouting too, mom? Yes, I do. It's like okay. a bat. Yeah. Yeah, it is like a battle funny. There we go. Ooh, there's an ether current up there. Is there? I don't see it. I have a bowl? Right here? What? Where? Up here. Right here. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. No, I did not see it. Thank you. Please. 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 Oh, I gotta go all the way around. I gotta go this whole trip up there. All right, let's talk to Pippin here. If I had a penny for every time I had to teleport to Alo, whatever. There's a box for you there, Pippin. Pippin has something to say. Come on around. Oh, he's got a sword. By the 12, this is Tizana. The Bull of Alamigo's legendary sword, forged from two cursed blades. This sword is a symbol of everything my father fought to achieve, a weapon claimed on the blood sands, and with it, fortune and glory. Its flame consumed the unworthy, but by fire was he reborn. The man was almost dead. That he should bequeath it to me now to carry on his legacy? Well, I shall endeavor to deserve it, but I shall be uh, darned if this is his final battle. Once we begin, there will no be there will be no respite until it's over. Are you ready, my friends? Respite. Respite. Sorry. Uh, very well. Brace yourselves. There should be quite a spectac. Uh -oh. Vice Marshal. Vice Marshal. Imperial units appro approaching from the north. Aiming to destroy our artillery, are they? How many? Total numbers unconfirmed. At least one squadron. But sir, they're they're wolfmen. Ah, fair, Damate. Bloody hells! That's what we all. That's all we need. Call up the Bloodsworn. Tell them to make ready. Marshal Tarpin. Wait. These wolfmen of whom you speak hail from Doma. They were coerced into fighting for the Empire. Spirit away to a foreign land and told that they disobeyed. Their lives or their kin would be forfeit, but their homeland has been liberated. They have no reason to continue serving their imp imperial masters. Ere you engage them in battle, I beseech you, grant us a moment to go and attempt to convince them to lay down their arms. Hmm. I am loath to give our enemy more time to prepare, but if there's a chance that this conflict might be avoided, I suppose we must take it. Go then, but be quick. We will. With me, Tythonus. Always the tool, I don't know. never the master. That's how I view our warrior of light, right? Always the tool, never the master, right? They can't do anything without it, so. They can't, so always the tool, never the master. Just saying. It's legit. Well, up, I'm up a here. Hammer. You're a hammer? Okay. I'm a hammer. I'm a pickaxe. 
No, wait. I want to be a pickaxe. No, okay, fine. You can you can be a pickaxe. I'll be an axe. No take backs. You're you can be a pickaxe. I'll be an axe. Deal. Is that a Minecraft re reference? <laughs> yes. Yes, it oh, is. This is probably yes, something we have to uh, disband. Oh, it is. That's a level. Oh, it's another. Oh, we gotta disband, mama. A little amigo. Yep. Sloppy. Sloppy. Ah, oh, couldn't get Jamila to do it. And he gave up. Come on, Jamil. Here we go. Oh, look at him go. Square Enix. Wolfman when, please? It'd be a wolfman. Sloppy. Sloppy. There he is. Sloppy. Be gone or be cut down. My goodness. Lord Hien is dead. Oh, it's pale. See, like this should be, this should be voice acted right here. This is a perfect example of where dialogue should be voice acted right here. But like some things are just so like arbitrarily voice acted. Come on, people. Ow! Die in dishonor. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. Like, right? Am I am I wrong that this should not be voice acted? This should be voice acted, right? It feels like, like there's so much missed potential here. I am on yeah, the measure of it is. reach. Oh, okay. You're okay, close, then. Friend. Keep going. Keep going. I'm close? Okay. Keep going. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Right. It just feels so weird. Like, some of this dialogue just feels like it's prime for, like, actual VA, you know? They just like, eh, no. You gotta read it. You know what? I think Final Fantasy should have to come up with backrooms. <laughs> I'm back. Ba <laughs> oh my goodness, the warrior of like fell into the backrooms. <laughs> fell in the backrooms. I feel like it wouldn't be fair to things in the backrooms. I'm just being honest. I mean, you're probably right. Everything would be dead. Or it hit. would be. Right. 100%. That much is plain. One on one. I am the white. I am Kura, and I will be your opponent. Have at you. Okay, you're not gonna win, dude. You're not gonna win. Are we fighting on. another person? Huh? Like just a bunch of fights before the actual fight is what it is. Getting your uh, muscles warmed up. Yes, right? Here's your box. Am I supposed to be Amazon the Pippin? Yeah, I think so. Amazon rings the power. Rings of power. Yes, exactly. That version oh, of Pippin? Oh! Yep. No! We don't talk about that. Oh, sorry. That doesn't exist. Rings of what? Never heard of it, but. You know, Ring to Power was a Tolkien thing, so technically no, Amazon no, no, really no. shouldn't be using it. Same. Lest I go catatonic and slip into a coma and die. Goodness. Sounds rough, buddy. Ouch, 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 ouch. Are you fighting the thing, Mom? Yeah. I don't know. I, I almost died too. Well, 
I know it took a lot of hits. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to avoid that. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to avoid that. Oh my gosh. Maybe I shouldn't lock onto him. Holy crap, holy crap, there's not a blank spot anywhere. The warrior of light will fall here. I got him. Never mind. Oh, man. Another duty. Holy crap, they're freaking huge. Hakuro's tall. That's 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 who I need to be. I'm looking up to Hakuro. Oh, wow. And I'm a Rugadan. Increase your height. Cheat. Increase your height. That's where I need to be. Oh. Is that griffins or something? Oh, they're wolves. Yeah, go Man, I, I'm, hate I'm, I'm done with fighting. Can I retire? I think so. I'd like to you retire my, from being get, a warrior of light. You think of my channel, too. I got it. Yeah. Retire okay. being a warrior of light. Somebody else can be the warrior of light. <laughs> Alpha no. No, I was gonna say Alpha no. Nah, no, no, no. Pip. Oh yeah, I see it, Travis. He's much bigger than you. He's huge, right? He's taller than me. Yeah. yeah. You know, maybe Thancred would be better. Makes you feel kind of sad. I thought it was a giant, but apparently not. Oh, all well, all of those. Look at Jeremy. Oh wait. Cuts in again here. There's a whole plan going on here. Ah, you are returned. Were your negotiations with the Wolfman successful? Yeah, we had to beat him up a little bit, but sure, yeah, we did. The one they called the White right. was receptive to our words once we told him of Doma's liberation. We didn't really tell him, Alfie. Come on, we beat the crap out of his buddies, and then he was they like, oh, okay, never mind. The walls to inform their brethren. If the gods are good, no blood shall be shed between our peoples this day. Yeah, no, we got the, we got the Wolfmen. We're good. Here, here. Square Enix, oh, Wolfmen went. Come on. Gates. forward! Don't tell me it's the uh, freaking. Uh... Give me hellfire! Give me a free bloody inferno! Oh my goodness, that's a little bit heated. Did they just introduce a new character? Oops. What the the wolfman mom? Holy crap, that's cool. Uh, the, the lion ladies. Yeah, the Rothgar. Now give me a curse in winter. So I'm saying, give me the Anima. give me the Wolfman uh, males, and I will switch to it 100% quick. All four, baby, let's go. Uh oh, what a, uh oh, uh oh, I'm gonna oh die. ice and fire. Oh, they're gonna. Ooh, that's cool. Smart. Is, the, is this guy a dragon or something? Is he a dragon? Let no man say we neglected the knock. Let no man say we neglected the knock. I don't know what. What do I? What would I even label this episode? The yeah. end. Knock, knock. Knocking. On. Knocking on the door. Editor. Amen. Knocking on the door. Or something like that. Just name it. Editor, take over his Damn channel. Armor. We nearly had it. Yes, I am the editor. <laughs> I'm the Jeremy editor and recorder. It. Oh, Jeremy, why did you do that? Sorry, spoiled the, the Typhonus lore. Oh, Lord Hien. Hien's here. He's doing so much damage to me. Is that? Uh, what's his name? Alpha, Alpha something? Kill him. Batman? Bear witness, wow. my Eorzean brothers the and sisters. Guy. That's helping me. Doma is Alfie come no? to pay her debts. Yeah. He can kill him. I'm just running away. He's there too forever. Damage. Kill him. I forget his name. We'll deal with the flying machines. I don't have to. Forward, my friends, for freedom and justice. Alfie, no. I've never said it. Alfie, I've no. Never. Alfie, no. The Alpha. Uh, there you go. Or you just call him Alfie for short. 
No, the alpha. You heard the man. All cannons were sure. firing. Are we are we approaching Stormblood? Are we almost there? Um, are we still are we still far away from that quest? I think Brennan is finally paying his What? I know. Come the final boss. I'll be back. We through. This guy is Can so we... tanky. You should just switch to a wolf dress. I think this the wolfman. Yeah, I think he's a tank. Wait, are you the wolf? Are you on the wolfman one? Yeah. Yeah, he's tough. Yeah, he. But I'm I'm stronger. Even though I'm short, he's huge. He's like he's like probably two or three. He he's probably two Lollafell's uh, taller than me. That's probably right. Hello, can you hear me? He's now? he's giant. He's big. Pippin, Stormblood, as long last the end is in sight. The Battle of Alamigo is at hand. All forces have been ordered to advance into the city proper. Lieutenant Alfino, may I ask that you be a part of the first charge? To be an honor. I will join them, but as another soldier. The Commander of the Flames, I leave in your capable hands, Pippin. I don't suppose we could come along, too. No, Lise. No, you can go stay in the corner. Okay, never mind. Lise, Arnvald. I'm trying to make Arnvald a primary character here. Uh, Nyago and the others have told me to go with you, Tythonus, to bring Xenos to account for everyone. I am Alamigan, too, in case everyone forgotten. My place is in the thick of it. If it doesn't get thicker, then where you'll be. Atta boy. They do look up to me, but I am also tall. <laughs> but not as tall as a wolfman. Holy crap. Let us sally forth then. Go together we make for the royal palace. We're uh, there to find and strike down Xenos. Okay, so funny story real quick. Anytime I he hear the term sally forth, I think of Army of Darkness. Every time. Do you know what I'm talking about, Mom? Mom? They're saying tally? Sally forth? No, 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 no! Sally? Sally forth, Sally forth, in Army of Darkness. Remember that scene in an Army of Darkness where ever evil Ash says Sally forth and his jaw keeps popping out of his mouth. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's every time I hear it. Every time I hear the word Sally forth, I think of that. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. That's, yeah. All right. Uh, I am on Stormblood. Alamigo Hi. now accessible. Yeah. There we go. Holy crap, we made it, family. Okay, yeah. 12 NPCs. Okay. Oh, Bren's already here. Holy crap. You cut Everybody's through that here. dialogue or what, Bren? Uh, yeah, I just escaped. You know. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. Do you guys want to try it tonight or you want to save it for Friday? Well, we have to do it twice, right? We do. Uh, I don't know. Is it a... Is it a is it a four person or eight person? Why does everyone look so, so much better than me? It's, like it's four. It's four. So we have to do it twice then. Well, you guys. if you guys wanted to, you could do it. And then I could do it Friday. Okay, well, then I guess I think I ran the last one first. So does Brendan want to run this one first? Oh uh, yes. Sure. Okay. We'll do it that way. We'll do we'll do uh, mom and Bren tonight, and then Friday we'll do we'll start it with uh, Jamil and Jeremy, and then we'll continue on. Uh, my guy looks like he's an NPC. No, you don't. Hello, I'm Dante NPC. <laughs> Dante <laughs> NPC. Hold on. Hello, Dante NPC. How are you? Why do you I, I would like you. On? There you go. I, know. I would like you to get me three warrior, warrior of light juice. Okay, okay, sounds great. There you go. I'll do that for you. He's lying. He's not gonna I would like some orange juice in it with it, please. Stop talking back to me, idiot. Slap your head. Okay, well, I guess I'll return to Gradania then. Gradania? Whoa. 
Hold on, guys, look at the floor you're standing on. The textures move a little bit. What are you talking about? The floor. That's what happens Remind when the camera moves, moves Jeremy. What are you yeah. talking about? It looks fine to me. No, no, no. So stand over here and left click and move your camera kind of like not oh, completely oh, flat, oh. just a little bit. Like closer Wait, to do the my do, do my camera or my character? Your camera, and then move your camera towards the ground, and then scoot it side to side. Let me scoot my camera and look side to side. Texture. Left click. Yep. Point I am. the camera up, and then start moving it left to right, and look at the texture on the concrete. Bro, mine's fine. No, You're mine is definitely me. moving. Bro, mine's fine. Shadow. You're out of your mind. No, it's yeah. Mine mine's fine, dude. It's I don't see it literally anything. moving. It don't matter. Jeremy's crazy. Jeremy crazy. Okay. Well, uh. Anyway. Anyways, out. thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified of new episodes. And as always, we will catch you in the next one. All right. Thanks. Bye bye. <laughs>